nafasi hii nataka nitabue uwepo wa wageni wetu ambao wametugenea siku hiyo ya leo haleluya ningeomba tu kama ni mgeni nionyeshe tu kwa ishara ya mkono wako na Mungu atakubariki haleluya amen barikiwa sana barikiwa sana karibuni sana wageni katika jina la Yesu amen kwa jina na ita kwa Yesu Kristo. Na hii kwa kabisa. Sio baadhi ya leo nimeona nikuja nisikie nyanyi kwa hiyo kabisa. Iko tu yangu kuwapata kama mnaendelea nimeokoka ni nani ananikumbuka? Ile siku uliumbili nilikuwa Kalimani <laughs> Nimembeba watoto wote wakuja wasalimie. Amen amen amen. Mungu ambariki sana. Majina yao. Amen. Naitwa Ruth ama Mama Ana, Mama Junior, Mama Ba. Mtaniita tu niko sawa. Amen. Nikuambia sana baba yetu. Ni pesuri. Mmenituma salamu. Kupenda Mungu. Aya, Pokea mungu salamu. Ambariki. Amen amen. Haleluya. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Wangapi wanijui? Naitwa Mwangale Glen. Nimeokoka Yesu ni Kristo katika maisha haya. Na kila wakati huwa nasema haijawa rahisi. Ni mkono wa Mungu umenibeba. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. 
ni mkono wa Mungu umenibeba. Mungu awabariki sana na kaa sehemu za kamulu kule nimetembea siku ya leo mbarikiwe sana. Kwa majina ni Lois Nyangasi. Mimi ni muhuduma wa kanisa hili Full Gospel Churches of Kenya. Huko sehemu za Western. Mbarikiwe. Asante sana mamu kwa kubariki. Namshukuru Mungu asubuhi ya adhuri ya leo. Mungu wetu amekuwa kila mmoja wetu pamoja nasi. Siku ya leo we are so blessed. Ya kwamba leo nilikuwa nimealika rafiki yangu. Yes, I pray to me. Kwa jina naitwa Pastor Simon ambao ni mchungaji wetu wa kanisa letu la Fugo Special Church of Kenya pale Taguleti pale Kona He is a good pastor he also so a teacher of theology and he is also an evangelist in himself kwa hivyo kuna watu utiwa mafuta ya aina mingi praise the name of the lord na siku ya leo ye yeah, pamoja na mke wake na wageni alio kuja na wao wanainuana katika viwango tofauti wakuwa na kusudio ya kwamba neno la Mungu ambao ni huisho la kila mmoja wetu litakuja kwetu na siku ya leo tesmaona nikwambia kwamba simama na miguu yako ili tukaweze kualika uwepo wa Mungu tukaweze kunenewa neno la Mungu kama vile nilivyowekwa ndani ya moyoni na mtumishi wake praise the name of the lord praise the name of the lord Aba inua mkono wako mwambie baba nena nami tumia mtumishi wa siku ya leo hata wewe mgeni jihisi kwa mahali iliyosawia na jihisi kwamba you are one of us that you have a place ya kwamba kwa mahali ya kuweka neno la Mungu nikaifadhika ndani ya moyoni mwako Lord God Almighty yes in the name of Lord nila kutukuza kwa sababu wewe ni Mungu ya kwamba unaenda kutumia mtumishi wako siku ya leo ni kwa ajili ya nafsi na mioyo zetu ni amenapa mtakatifu neno lako litakuwa kama upanga neno lako ni kama nyundo neno lako linatumaini neno lako liko na nguvu Jehovah mtumie kwa sababu ya nafsi zetu Jehovah na kuomba na kusihi ya kwamba unaposuluhe kile usitupite mtakatifu hivyo Jehovah na kuomba nina mafuta juu ya kila mmoja wetu au mimi kama mtumishi juu ya mtumishi wako asimamapo siku ya leo God use me because of this Jehovah chat I pray for each one of us may your name be exalted O Lord in Jesus name I pray and I believe Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Na tukukanisha mikono yetu tunapoalika uwepo wa Mungu. Ana wasi wa pale Pastor Simon. Akuna kwa haruka kwa ibada ba. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Naomba kwa unyenyekevu uweze kuchukua kiketi chako in the presence of God. Thank you so much. Na wasalimu wote katika jina la Yesu hamjambo. Jina la Bwana litukuzwe. Wow, wow, wow. Sijui nianze wapi lakini wacha nianze na kumshukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya kuniokoa, kwa sababu ya kuninaemesha, kwa sababu ya kunisamehe dhambi na kunishikilia mpaka hapo nimefika. Bwana atukuzwe. Na shukrani kwa sababu isinga likuwa ni kazi ya Bwana maishani mwangu. Singa likuwa jinsi nilivyo. Kwa hivyo uh, jinsi nilivyo ni kazi ya rehema nyingi za Bwana zimefanyika juu ya maisha yangu. Bwana atukuzwe. Uh, nafurahi kabisa nikiwa mbele za Bwana kwa sababu ya Mungu kukubali niwe hapa siku hii ya leo na nina pia nahisi kunyenyekea kwa sababu jina la Bwana litukuzwe
Uh, nilikuwa nasema ya kwamba na hii siku nyenyekea kabisa nikiwa mbele za Bwana na nikiwa mbele zenu kwa sababu ya uh, baba yangu rafiki yangu na mtumishi wa Bwana Reverend uh, Madhu kwa sababu ya kuona ya kwamba nastahili kuwa hapa siku hii ya leo na shukuru sana pamoja na wamam uh, i appreciate so much na Bwana akawabariki uh, Reverend tumekuwa ni marafiki uh, kwa muda uh, na diposa nimefika hapa kwa sababu ya urafiki huo Praise be to God. Unajua urafiki ambao hauna matunda uko na maswali kadhaa. Ama namna gani? Ya, yeah, watu wakishaitana marafiki, ni vizuri kuanza kuona matunda ya urafiki yule. Kwa hivyo, matunda ya kwanza na mengine ambayo najua itakuja hapo mbeleni, na hata yale imepita ni kwamba tumefika hapa siku hii ya leo. Thank you so much Reverend na kazi ambayo unafanya hapa. Pia natambua uwepo wa wazee wa kanisa, mashemanzi na viongozi wengine wote na kila mmoja aliyoko hapa tupigie bwana makofi kwa ajili ya kazi yake haleluya uh, kwa majina naitwa pastor Simon Daro mimi ni mchungaji wa kanisa la full gospel pale Dagoreti Kona na unaona hapa na pale si mbari sana kwa hivyo hata hiyo distance ilifanya tuweze kujuana kwa urahisi na our reverend uh, mimi niko na familia nimeoa e, tumebarikiwa na wasichana wawili na bado tunaendelea Yaani tunaendelea kuhubiri njiri. <laughs> Bwana atukuzwe. Napenda kwanza kabla nisonge sana ni mwalike mka wangu. Uh, akuja hapa atusalimie. Bwana asifiwe. Praise God. Acha niseme asubuhi leo nimeokoka. Nampenda Yesu kwa kuniokoa. Kwa majina kama sijasahau kabla sijasahau naitwa Grace Mwangi Mwangi ni huyu ambaye amesimama mbele yenu na ama mama Gavrila Gavrila ni huyu nimeshika ama mama Jiana Jiana ni yule mwenye amekatalia kwa kiti na yote tunashukuru kwa Mungu Bwana asifiwe hata kwa ubali huu ni mkono wake Yesu Bwana asifiwe wacha niseme hatuna ubaya hata nimefurahia kufika mahali hapa kuna neno moja ningetaka kuachia katika kitabu cha Ephesians 6 ukiazia hapo kumi. inasema kwamba ati kukua hodari katika Bwana na kuzidi kuwa hodari katika Bwana Bwana asifiwe na katika guvu na uwezo wake uwezo wa guvu zake Mungu Bwana asifiwe kwa hivyo wa Kristo wa Mungu tusidi kuwa hodari katika Yesu katika hii wokovu tusidi kuwa hodari no matter what you are going through bwana asifiwe na tunajua ya kwamba hii safari tutaishida na tutavikwa taji ya uzima mbarikiwe sana asante sana ninaye rafiki yangu sana na pia mtumishi wa bwana anaitwa bwana job kamodo nipenda nimpe nafasi pia asimame atusalimie Ah uh, itakuwa ni vizuri na asante pia kwa kunileta na kukubali uh, kufika hapa karibu katika jina la Yesu. Amen. Bwana Yesu apewe siva. Bwana Yesu apewe siva. Ya yeah, ni kama hivyo mmesikia nimeitwa naitwa Job Job Kamodo. Uh, mimi ndiye nimeleta mchungaji tukiwa na hao wengine na ninafurahia nina ukua eti tulikuwa wengi kanisa kama vile mulivyo lakini aliona mimi tukuje naye. Mimi kukuwa naye ni, ni, ni seme ni baraka kukuwa na pastor Simon. Ni kwa sababu tumekuwa naye muda mwingi. Na tumeeda naye sehemu mingi katika hii hali ya kuhubiri neno. Tumeeda sehemu mingi, tumeeda bari. Tumehubiri Mungu, tumeona akiteda mambo makuu kupitia kile alichokiweka ndani yetu. Bwana Yesu apewe siva. Ningeomba kwa kifupi uniruhusu ni, ni, ni na hawa mstari miwili ya Biblia nilio nayo hapa ni kwa sababu Mungu nasikia amenijaria hiyo Bwana hizo yapewe siva Nikitaka nikawagawane nanyi mstari wa Biblia na obao uko katika Revelation kama unaweza kufika mahali pale Revelation chapter 3 ufike mahali pale inaogelelea kuhusu badua iliyoandikiwa makanisa saba Bwana hizo yapewe siva lakini kwa sababu ya muda mchache sana ningetaka niogelelee kanisa moja na ambayo inaitwa kanisa ya Sarid Sarid tukisoma ya Kiswahili na kwa maraika wa kanisa lililoko lililo saidi andika 
Adika. Haya diyo anenaye yeye alie na hizo roho samba za mungu na zire nyota samba. Na jua matendo yako ya kuwa unajina la kuwa hai na awe umekufa. Chapter 2 inasema. Uwe mwenye kukesha wimarisha mambo ya liyo saria ya nayo taka kufa. Maana sikuona matendo yako kuwa ya mekamirika bele za mungu. Buwana iso apewe siva. Ni swali katika hili kanisa. Kuna watu na ambao unakuta tukona wao. Wasipo ambiwa tuombe, hawaombi. Wana iso apewe siva. Kuna watu wasio ambiwa tufungue bibiria wasome, hawasomi. Wana iso apewe siva. Na wakati wanabeba bibiria, kuna, wakatu, <laughs> kuna watu wapa wame, wameipata mahali ili aliwekerea sande. <laughs> ni, ni neno linakata watu. Ali, wahali ili wa sande, hameipata. Ikiwa na vubi ya kapanguza. Wengine wanaikaga kwa, pale kwa kishwa, kwa kitanda. Sasa hata hamelikuta, ha, sasa haiko, aliwekerea ika anguka shini, ya meishukua uko wakapanguza. Haku wanasoma. Kwa nini uku wanajaya ya kukura mkate? Aleluya. Kwa nini huku wana kiu uombe? Bwana iso wapewe siva. Unaweza kuwa wea ni kanisa rasalid. Umekufa. Bwana iso wapewe siva. Haleluya. Tuko uhai. Bwana iso wapewe siva. Ni vizuri sasa ujiulize. Unasikiaga tu na kaivo unasikia kuomba. Unasikiaga unasikia kusoma bibiria. Jishuku weza kuwa ni wea unaongerewa. Uko na, uko na, na siva yeti ulikuwa anga uhai. Yeti ilisivika. Kanisa of gospel liko na uzu, liko na moto wa roho lakini limekufa. Eh, sababu ni uombi. Hausomi Biblia. Dio tuweze kuimarika, dio tuweze kuhakisha kukua mianga mahali hapa ibulbul. Tabidi tusome Biblia tuombe. Bwana abariki, kazidi kuwatenda mema. Amina. Pia nawe bwana kubariki na kutende mema. Bwana atukuzwe. Uh, na amini ya kwamba sasa uwanja huu meandaliwa vizuri. Nisame ya kwamba ninaheshimu neema ambayo inafanya kazi katika madhabahu haya. Na nashukuru mungu kwa sababu ya kazi ambayo munafanya hapa. Kwa kwamba kazi ya mungu inaendelea. Bwana atukuzwe. Uh, Nisame ya kwamba niyaza na kusame ya kwamba ufufio ama katika revival leo. Utakuwa ni ufufio ni revival ya uponyaji. Bwana atukuzwe. Kwa hivyo usikoze, usikose. Haleluya. Lakini kabla tufike revival, situ some ibada yale ukarika jina la yesu. Napena ni ingie moja kwa moja sasa katika neno la bwana. Kiamini ya kwamba kama kuna mabo mengine labda, uh, ya tatupata huko mbele katika jina la yesu. Um, tutasoma kitabu cha uh, Nehemiah. Na siku hii ya leo, uh, napenda dakika mbazo tukonazo, uh, tuweze kunena kuhusu, Kukubali mungu akutumie. Allow God to use you. Allow God to use you. Bwana atukuzwe. Kwa sababu uh, unaweza kuwa wewe ni mtumishi. Na unaweza kuwa umeokoka. Na unaweza kuwa umesamehewa dhambi. Lakini hauja kubali mungu akutumie. Hallelujah. Bwana atukuzwe. Sasa nataka tuadamane tukisema amina diyo tutiane nguvu. Hallelujah. Kwa hivyo ni vizuri kukubali akutumie. Allow God to use you. Na uh, tutasoma kitabu cha Nehemaya. Uh, tutasoma tano kwanza. Tutasoma tano kumina tano. Na kisha tutaingia katika sita. Uh, mstari wa kumina sita. Na nianze na kukuambia hivi. Ya kwamba unaweza kuwa ume, uh, uliokoka ama umiokoka. Lakini ufike mahali ukatae mungu akutumie. Bwana asifiwe. Lakini mi, pia ningependa kukujulisha kitu kimoja. Ya kwamba kila kiumbe Mungu alichokiumba, alikiumba kimtumikie. Amen. Kila kiumbe alichokiumba, alikiumba kimtumikie. Kiwe ni kiumbe kilicho hai na kiwe ni kiumbe ambacho hakiko hai, chote kinamtumikia Mungu. Hiyo kiti umekalia inamtumikia Mungu. Bwana asifiwe. Haiko uhai Lakini na mtumikia mungu. Kama ugekuja ukose hiyo kiti. Ugekua unasikiza hii ibada ukuyo mesimama. Kwa hivyo unapoketia hicho kiketi. Kina mtumikia mungu. Kama kitu ambacho hakiko hai kina mtumikia mungu. 
What about a living thing? Je, na kitu ambacho kimepewa mawazo, kitu ambacho kimepewa afya, kitu ambacho kimepewa nguvu kitakosaje kumtumikia Mungu? You have been called, you have been given life, you have been given grace to serve God. Hallelujah. Hivyo ndivyo nimekuja kukuambia siku hii ya leo. Uende ikawa ulifika mahali ulikuwa una hudumu lakini ukawacha. Wewe labda uko na sababu zako lakini imekuja kukuambia chochote kilichoko hai na kimtumikia Mungu. The Bible says let everything that has breath praise God. Everything that has breath. Unajua ku, when, we, when the Bible talk about pray, I mean uh, let everything that has breath praise praise doesn't mean singing. Sio kuimba tu. Hallelujah. Sio kusimama hapa na kuongoza uh, uh, nyimbo. It means everything that you do that pertains to your life. Bwana Yesu atukuzwe. Kila kiumbe na kimtumikie Mungu. Na nikwambie unaona wakati hata uh, Danieli alipowekwa katika uh, tundu la simba kile kilifanya simba inyamaze ni kwa sababu hata simba inatambua muubaji. Kama muubaji atani, ataniambia ni nyamaze hivyo ndivyo nitakavyofanya. Sitakula huyu maana kunaye Mungu huwa ananiamulisha. Hallelujah. I belong to someone who owns me. And if he tells me not to eat, I don't eat. Kama simba itaweza kumti Mungu na wewe je? Praise be to God. You have been created to serve God. Umeumbwa ili ukamtumikie Mungu. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Lakini pia kuna mambo ningependa nikupitishie ambayo hufanya mtu atumike vizuri. Kanisa Bwana asifiwe. Kuna mambo hufa, uh, kuna mambo ambayo inafanya mtu atumike vizuri. Siku moja uh, watu wengine walienda kuhubiri injili kule nje na walipokuwa wakihubiri kuna kijana mmoja alienda akakaa karibu na speaker. Anakatu hapo karibu na speaker. Ni kijana wa kanisa na mchungaji akihubiri pale anashindwa na huyu kijana badala hakuje angalia microphone kwa nini haifanyi kazi badala hakuje ahakikishe kwamba kila kitu iko sawa alienda kukaa kwa speaker ijili lipoisha mchungaji akaita yule kijana akamuuliza kwa nini ulienda kukaa kwa speaker badala ukuje tusaidie akaambia mchungaji mimi nilikuwa naombea hiyo sauti inatoka hapo <laughs> jina la bwana litukuzwe mimi nilikuja tu kuombea hiyo sauti iwafikie watu wengi praise be to god <laughs> kwa hivyo nataka kusema nini ya kwamba kila kiumbe kimeumbwa na kimeletwa katika ulimwengu huu kikamtukuza bwana wakati shidrak na meshek walipowekwa kwa moto kwa sababu moto ni wa mungu hauke wamaliza haleluya kwa sababu moto unaye unaye yule ambaye anauamurisha akauamurisha na hawa watu usiwaguze hata kidogo bwana yesu atukuzwe kwa sababu hata moto uneumbwa umtukuze bwana praise be to god kama moto unaweza kumti mungu kwa nini mimi na wewe tukaushe tukose kumtum, kumtumikia kwa nini tuwe na vita katika kazi ya mungu kama moto na, unajua moto ni kitu hatari sana lakini kwa sababu una yule ambaye unatumikia ambaye ni muumba wa yote ambaye ni Mungu mwenye uweza unasema hawa mimi sitaguza watu kama hawa siguzangi maana kuna yule anayeninenea praise be to god kanisa bwana yesu atukuzwe in the book of nehemiah chapter 5 tuanze pale in the book of nehemiah chapter 5 from verse 15 the bible says but the former governor who were in the office before me put heavy burdens on the people and took food and wine from them in addition to 40 shekels of silver um, even their servant assumed authority over the people but i did not do so because of the fear of the lord chapter 6 verse 16 when all our enemies heard about it and all the nations around us saw it they lost their confidence for they recognized that this work had been accomplished with the help of our god 
Moreover, in those days, many letters went from uh, the nobles of Judah to Tobiah, and Tobiah's letters came to, to them. For many in Judah were bowed by oath to him because he was the son-in-law of Shekaniah, the son of Ara, and his son Jehonan, and married the daughter of Meshulam, the son of Berakia. Bwana ribariki nenolake. Bwana ribariki nenolake. Maandiko mengine tunaenda tukianuku hapa na pale. Lakini ningependa nige, ushike maneno haya katika kitabu hiki cha Nehemiah. Nehemiah alikuwa ni mmoja wa wale watu walikuwa wamepelekwa kule katika utumwa in Babylon. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Wakiwa na kina Ezra na wale wengine. Na Nehemiah alikuwa ni mtu mwenye moyo tofauti. Na kitu kingine ujue kwamba Nehemiah alikuwa ni cup biara wa mfalme. Cup biara wa mfalme ni kumaanisha chochote ambacho mfalme alifanya kilikuwa kina kinapitishwa na Nehemiah. So he was having a very important position in the government. Praise be to God. Mfalme hange kula chakula kama Nehemiah hajazioja na kupitisha kwamba hii chakula na mfalme ya kule. Alikuwa na, 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 na position kama hiyo. Lakini ukisoma katika uh, sura ya tano, kumi na tano, uk, na ukiteremuka pale chini, kuna mambo Nehemiah ananena, maneno ambayo yanaleta utofauti. Na anasema ya koma, na anasema vizuri, mimi nilipoingia katika ofisi hii. Nilipata watu wanafinyiliwa, nilipata watu wakitharauliwa waki na mambo kama yale. Lakini mimi nilipata utofauti. Praise be to God. Ni watu ambayo wana mioyo tofauti ndio hufanya mambo tofauti katika nyumba ya Mungu. Praise be to God. Kuna watu unaona Biblia inasema kwamba kuna watu walikuwa katika his position hapo mbeleni na walikuwa natumikia mfalme. Na Biblia inasema na Nehemiah anasema kwamba hata walikuwa wameruhusu watumishi waingie katika nyumba hii. Lakini mimi Nehemiah nilipoingia katika sehemu ile niliamua kuleta mabadiliko. Praise be to God. Kwa nini Nehemaya alikubali kuleta mabadiliko? Because changes are brought by someone who has a different heart. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na nikwambie kumtumikia Mungu inabidi uwe na moyo wa tofauti. Na tutaendelea kuona kwa nini Nehemaya alikuwa na moyo wa tofauti. Maana hata yale mambo alikutana nayo kwa ajili ya kumtumikia Mungu, alionyesha ni mtu alikuwa na moyo wa tofauti. Na Bwana akupatie moyo wa tofauti katika jina la Yesu. Bwana akupatie moyo wa tofauti katika jina la Yesu. Hata kama moyo wako ulikibishwa na adui, akina Tobias na Sanibalad, may the Lord give you a different heart in the mighty name of the Lord. Ili wakati wengine wanachoka, unasema kwamba mimi bado nitasimama. Praise be to God. Wale watu ambao wanabeba kazi ya Mungu ni watu ambao walikubali kubadilishwa moyo na kupewa moyo wa tofauti. Otherwise ukitumikia uki, uki Mungu na huyu moyo wa kawaida utachokea tu hapa jiani na hii kazi itakuchosha maana hata Reverend unaweza confirm kazi ya Mungu ni ngumu Bwana tukuzwe Unajua hizi ni baadhi ya kazi ambazo tunakuja kufanya Jumapili lakini ni ngumu <laughs> Praise be to God Hallelujah Nehemiah anasema kwamba mimi niliamua ya kwamba nitaleta tofauti katika nyumba ya mfalme Praise be to God. Kuna kitu kingine anasema katika sura ya sita, kumina sita. Ukiangalia katika historia ya wana wa Israeli, utapata kwamba wakati huu Nehemiah anafika kule Yerusalemu, kuna kikundi kilikuwa kimetangulia, kikundi kiliongozwa na Ezra. Na Ezra alikuwa miongoza kikundi kutoka kule Babiloni wakati wa Yerusalemu. Na ukumbuke kwamba waliporudi Yerusalemu, ukumbuke hekaru ilikuwa meharibiwa, Na mji wa Yerusalemu ulikuwa katika aibu. Ezra alipofika kule Yerusalemu alikuwa na kikundi cha kujenga hekaru tena. Bwana Yesu atukuzwe. Praise be to God. Kwa hivyo kila mtu ako na sehemu yake katika nyumba hii ya Mungu. Katika ufalme huu kila mtu ako na sehemu yake ya kufanya. Lakini ukumbuke kwamba hata kama uko na sehemu ya kufanya inahitajika uwe na moyo tofauti. Maana hata kama unajua eneo yako ya kutumika usipokuwa na moyo tofauti hata hiyo eneo hautasimama praise be to god na kwa sababu Mungu amekuokoa 
kwa sababu Mungu amekuleta hata katika nyumba hii ni vizuri kujua sehemu yangu itumike vizuri ni sehemu gani to god kanisa bwana asifiwe na unajua katika ufalme huu hakuna mtu aliitwa katika ufalme huu awe ni mtu wa kuketi ukisoma katika wakurindo wa kwanza sita Biblia inaongea kuhusu sehemu tofauti za mwili. Amen. Sehemu tofauti za mwili. Na anaongea masikio, macho, miguu na kila sehemu mikono. Kwa hivyo hakuna mtu ambaye ameingia katika ufalme huu aliitwa ili aweze kukaa. Kila mtu ni mtumishi. Bwana atukuzwe. Kwa hivyo ni kumaanisha wakati unapoangalia wengine wakitumika na haufanyi unaangusha ufalme wa Mungu. Bwana atukuzwe. You are feeling in some area in this kingdom because everybody is a servant and is meant to serve in this kingdom. Na hatuwezi tukatoshana katika ufalme huu. Unajua kile kina, kinaleta mashindano katika utumishi ni kwa sababu tunataka tu, tuwe na na high position of serving. Let me tell you, the best person who serve in this kingdom is not the person who has high position. Na usitamani kuwa katika position za juu ndio mtumikie Mungu. God does not serve by position, he is served by a willing heart. Bwana atukuzwe. Kwa hivyo kitu ambacho ningependa nikwambie siku hii ya leo, ili uwe a successful servant of God, you need to check your attitude of serving. When your attitude is wrong, even the service you give are wrong, completely wrong. Bwana atukuzwe. When you have ill intention in serving God, even the services you offer are very ill. Unaweza unaweza kubeba hii speaker na uileta kanisani na sisi tuangalie tuone unafanya kazi mzuri. But maybe you are, when you are, when your intention is wrong, whatever you are doing is still wrong even though we see it right. Hallelujah. Sijui kama mnanipata. Kama hata kama hunipati, Roho Mtakatifu akusaidie kuipata. Because I may not even bring it well, but the Holy Spirit is able to interpret it better to you. Hallelujah. Bwana atukuzwe. Kwa hivyo, one thing in serving God, make sure that your attitude and your intentions are very right. Unajua kile kilifanya Cain and uh, Amuwe dugu yake ni kwa sababu the spirit of competition. You are having a better. Yours is accepted and mine is refused. Lakini hajiulizi kwa nini yangu imekataliwa. Anafikiria kwamba kwa sababu ako na roho ya mashindano, anaona kwamba ili ni kuondoe wewe ambaye unanishinda, ili ni ili ni kuondoe wewe ambaye uko mbele yangu ni kukuwa nitakuwa. Nikifikiria nitaingia katika ile position. You cannot attain a position by killing someone. Praise be to God. You don't raise in this kingdom by finishing others. You raise in this kingdom by completing each other. May the Lord give us a spirit of completion rather than the spirit of competition praise be to god praise let me tell you the spirit of competition bring death roho wa mashindano huleta kifo katika utumishi wa mungu bwana atukuzwe na ninajua kuna watu hata hapa kanisani uliinua mikono na ukasema hiyo huduma sitafanya nimeona tunangangania sana Uka, ukarudi nyuma because the intention of these people wa Com- competing. And let me tell you, any position you are going to attain, any service you are going to give unto the kingdom, by the virtue of competition, it is wrong. Or already it is wrong. Bwana tusaidie. Maana siku hizi mashindano ni mengi. Na diposo naona mpaka makanisa ya uongo ya miongezeka. Kwa sababu mashindano ni ni, ni nani atakuwa na sadaka nyingi. Ni nani akona mafuta nyingi. And that is why you see hata kuombea watu kanisani siku hizi imekuwa ni uongo. Mchungaji na wawekelea anaanza kuwasukuma. Aonekane yako na nguvu. Come on. And, and I'm, not, I'm not against the anointing of people falling. Roho wa Mungu akikushukia wewe enda chini, kubali. Lakini kile ninasema ya kwamba kwa sababu ya roho ya mashindano ambayo imeingia katika madhabahu, unapata kwamba sarakasi ni nyingi. The reason why sarakasi ni nyingi kwa sababu the people that are in service are full of competition. Roho huo uondoke katika jina la Yesu. Tunafaa tufukuze roho huu katika jina la Yesu. Katikati yetu na katikati ya huduma za Bwana katika jina la Yesu. Kwa sababu God will not use you because of how high you are. 
He uses you because of how you are. Be humble and he's going to use you. Bona tukuzwe. Do you know there are virtues in this kingdom hauwezi kujitenganisha nazo no matter how who, whom you are and where you become. Humility is a virtue that whoever you are and whatever you become you cannot forsake it. Wakati umeacha humility in your service, service unto the body of Christ you are starting to lose it. Unaanza kupoteza. There are virtues in this kingdom that we must have. Now look look at the position ambayo Nehemiah amepatiwa. I'm a pillar position, your cup bearer in the kingdom. Kwa ufalmi. Wewe ukipewa nafasi katika serikali, ufanye kazi katika serikali. Tumeshuhudia mpaka watu wanatoka kanisani. Ni ukweli ama si ukweli? Leave alone hata kufanya kazi kanisani, kuoa tu. Mtu kuoa tu. Kuoa tu, sasa kanisa inakuwa ni something else. Mtu ambaye hakuwa na kazi, akipata kazi, kanisani anaanza kuchelewa na anaanza kuwa na shughuli nyingi. Humility is a key into this kingdom. Humility is a key into, in, into the journey of salvation. Bwana tukuzwe. Uwe unakaa kule nyuma ama unakaa hapa mbele, uvumilivu na, na kunyenyekea ni kitu cha muhimu zaidi. Uvumilivu ndio ufanya watu wadumu katika huduma za Bwana. Humility maintains you in the service of God. So in as much you desire to be used by God, in as much you desire God to raise you, in as much you natamani mungu wa kuinue, ni kuambiyo the virtue of humility, itakapo kuondoka, hutuma za mungu nazo itaaza kukuondokea. Bwana Yesu wa sifiwe. Kwa hivyo, maya kwa sababu ya kuwa na moyo tofauti, aliweza kumaintain his humility even when he was in the house of a king. Hata akiwa katika mfalme, aliweza kudumisha uh, moyo wa unyenyekevu katika jina la Yesu. Kuna jambo nataka nielekeze katika mstari wa 16. Alikuwa anakuambia kwamba wakati huu Nehemiah ambaye analetewa hii habari. Unajua wakati Nehemiah alirudi kule Yerusalemu alipata mji wa Bwana ukiwa na aibu. Alipata mji wa Bwana ukiwa umejaa aibu. Hata kama Ezra alikuwa amefanya kazi, hata kama Ezra kuna sehemu yake ambaye alikuwa amesimamisha Nehemaya alipopata habari alihuzunika sana kwa sababu wakati ule hakukuwa na ukuta wa kuzingira mji wa Bwana kwa hivyo mji wa Bwana ulikaa open open to attack and open to shame kumbuka hii hi hekalu ilikuwa imebomolewa kwa hivyo kila mtu alikuwa anawadhi haki na kila mtu alikuwa na anawauliza sasa nyinyi mnasema ni wa Mungu oh ile aibu inawafuata Ona ile aibu inafuata nyinyi na nyinyi mnajiitanisha na Mungu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na watu walikuwa na dhihaki hiyo hekaru ya Yerusalemu. Na walikuwa wanajua kwamba hawa watu as long as wanasema ati ni wa Mungu hii hawatasimamisha. Nehemaya alipopata habari hii. Biblia inasema ya kwamba alihuzunika Uki, ukisoma hadithi ya Nehemaya utapata hii. Alihuzunika moyoni mwake na akasema kuanzia sasa mimi sikuli. I'm not going to eat until i see the glory of god has come back to the house of god wacha ni kuambie watu ambao wanaweza kubeba kazi ya mungu ni watu wenye mioyo tofauti bwana yesu asifiwe ni mpaka ukubali kuwa na moyo tofauti ili uweze kufanya kazi ya mungu kitofauti imefanywa na watu kawaida watu walioko mbele wamefanya kawaida ili uweze kufanya kazi ya mungu tofauti lazima ukubali kwanza moyo wako ubadilishwe Kanisa Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise be to God. Na watu ambao wanabeba kazi ya Mungu ni watu ambao wako na moyo kama wa Nehemiah. Aliposikia tu ya kwamba nyumba ya Mungu ime, imezidi kuchekelewa. Nyumba ya Mungu iko katika aibu. Aliamua mimi kama hiyo ndio habari na mimi ndiko hapa. Sitakula tena. I'm not going to eat mpaka neema za Bwana zirejee katika jina la Yesu. Bwana Yesu atukuzwe. Ni jambo gani ambayo katika ufalme huu wa Mungu unaona huwa linaleta aibu? Na unajua Reverend tukiwa tumekaa hapa, watu tunaona mambo tofauti. Kuna mtu anaona hii rangi ya mlango si nzuri na kuna mwingine inampendeza. Bwana asifiwe. Praise be to God. 
Kuna mwingine anaona hizi viti tunaweza kubadilisha tuleta zingine executive. Na kuna mwingine anaona ziko sawa. Praise be to God. Lakini ni kuambie chochote ambacho Mungu amekuwezesha na ambacho husumbua moyo wako nini ambacho unafanya ili hilo jambo libadilike. Kuon, let me tell you one thing that will make you a, a servant of God is because God has given you spiritual senses. One spiritual sense is your eyes, your ears and your emotions. Those are these that God uses. Emotions in this way. Kuna mzigo Mungu atakupatia na hatapatia mtu mwingine. Na wakati Mungu amekupea mzigo usifikirie ni kila mtu amenenea. Bwana atukuzwe. Mungu amekupatia hiyo masikio. Sasa hivi tunanena. Bwana atukuzwe. The word of God is here and you can hear the word of God. Lakini what are you willing to do because you have heard? Which burden is coming to your heart because you have heard? Ili simba awache kukula Danieli ni kusikia alikuwa amesikia. Come on. Ni kusikia alikuwa amesikia. So I want you to I want you to understand one thing. In as much you want to serve God, you must be a hearer. You must be a seer. Bwana atukuzwe. Lazima uwe mtu wa kusikia Mungu na sio watu wa kusema eh na jana Mungu alinionyesha and you are doing nothing. Ukiwa mtu wa aina hiyo, Mungu huhamisha kazi yake. Ukiwa mtu ambaye Mungu ananenea, mtu Mungu anabebesha mizigo kisha unaiweka chini na kuona ni kwamba haifai, Mungu huhamisha mizigo yake. Mungu huhamisha. And God does not use you because you qualify. Let me tell you. None of us here qualifies to be used by God. None of us. Hata kama tuna suti, none of us qualify. It is by the masses of God. Na kama Mungu ameachilia rehema, take the advantage of the masses of God and serve him the way you are. Hallelujah. He did not call you because you are qualified. Hakukuita kwa sababu unakubalika. Hakukuita kwa sababu umesoma sana. Hakukuita kwa sababu wewe ni, ni mrembo zaidi kuliko wengine. Do you know wakati mmoja in the, uh, wakati mmoja wakati Mungu alikuwa anachagua watu kwa sababu ya qualification. Hata yeye alijuta. Alijuta hata yeye. Wakati alichagua Sauli kwa sababu ni mrefu, ni, mwe, ni anapendeka. Eh? Unajua ni Mungu alikuwa amechagua Sauli? Qualities ambazo ziko katika Biblia ni kwamba hakuna mtu ambaye alikuwa ni mrefu kama Sauli. Hakuna mwanamume alikuwa ni mzuri kwa kiungo kama Sauli. Alikuwa anavutia watu. Have you ever heard in the Bible God choosing someone like that? Mungu aliacha kuchagua watu ambao wako qualified. <laughs> He qualifies them and qualified. Bwana asifiwe and he gives them the grace kuna wakati Mungu alikuwa anatumia hiyo strategy lakini aliwacha kwa sababu wale ambao alichagua kama hivyo walimwaibisha praise be to god if god uses the qualified nobody he could be using if god uses the strong none of us could be used do you know paul and i and i like this servant of god paulo anafanya miujiza anafufua watu amen Ana, anaandika vitabu ni mtu alikuwa amejawa na neema kubwa ni mtu ambaye alikuwa na hekima ya kiungu lakini anafika mahali kuna jambo aliombea mara tatu halikuondoka but when it comes to praying other people's issue hahitaji hakuwa anahitaji kuomba mara tatu raise up and walk and a dead person rises up but when it came to his own issues anaomba mara tatu na hili jambo halimuondokei and god tells him i'm not taking it away from you because i delight in weaknesses hallelujah i delight in weaknesses if you are waiting for god to make you strong he will never use you if you are waiting to, for god to go out, if you are waiting for you to go to school so that you can start preaching you will never preach if you are waiting for god to make you attracted or beautiful among men you will never be used he uses and he delight using the weak vessel that is the qualification of god bwana yesu asifiwe anapenda kutumia zile vitu dhaifu 
you can imagine Paul was so quick in finding solution into other people's life. But to his own, hata hajui anza wapi ama eleke wapi. But when you bring an issue to him, quickly, divinely, he gives an answer. But to his own issue, hajui afanya nini. But God says, my grace is sufficient. And I want to tell you today, ukitaka kutumikia mungu, usiangalie qualifications zako. That is the first failure. If you look how qualified you are, then you are starting to fail. Let the grace of God carry you through in the mighty name of Jesus. Wacha neema ya bwana ikubebe katika jina la Yesu. Katika jina la Yesu. Hallelujah. Neema ya bwana ikubebe katika jina la Yesu. There are people who are called in this kingdom to be financiers. Si waombezi. Au si waombezi ni watu wa kushikilia kazi ya Mungu na pesa zao. Lakini swali ni je? Have you heard? Have you seen? Have you been convinced to carry the work of God? And if it has happened, what did you do? Ulifanya nini? Bwana atukuzwe. What did you do? Ili kazi ya Mungu, let me tell you, kile ambacho kinafanya Nehemiah, kile kinafanya Nehemiah akue na mzigo ni kwa sababu alipenda aibu iondoke katika nyumba ya Mungu. Wakati watu wamekubali kutumikia Mungu ni kuodoa wanaondoa aibu katika nyumba ya Mungu. Na kama nyumba ya Mungu itaondoka aibu hata katika maisha yako, aibu haitakufuata katika jina la Yesu. Lakini tukiachilia aibu ifuate nyumba ya Mungu hata katika maisha yetu, aibu Haleluya. Kanisa Bwana astukuzwe. Bwana Mungu hana shida kutuondolea aibu lakini je katika nyumba ya Mungu tumeondoa aibu kama tutaiondoa hata katika maisha yetu aibu itaondoka katika jina la Yesu na aibu huondoka katika nyumba ya Mungu wakati watu wamekubali kutumika Bwana Yesu atukuzwe kwa hivyo kama tunataka Mungu atuondolee aibu tuondoe aibu katika kazi ya Bwana haleluya na nikwambie kuondoa aibu si lazima ufanye kitu kama hii ni kutumika kwa jinsi inavyostahili ni kutumika ni kusimama mahali unapostahili praise be to god kanisa bwana yesu atukuzwe kwa hivyo wakati umekubali kusimama katika huo mwanya kumbuka ya kwamba hii ni kazi ya mungu si ya mtu do you know you can be seeing something that reverend does not see do you know that unajua unaweza kuwa na mzigo reverend hana lakini wewe unasemanga eh naonaga ni kama reverend haonangi hii hataona wewe shida hapo ukikojea reverend aseme naonaga reverend haogeagi hiki don't wait for him to talk it is you not him na Mungu akikuita yeye haleluya bwana Yesu atukuzwe learn to carry your personal burdens to the glory of god bwana Yesu atukuzwe na kwambie watu ambao wanabeba kazi ya Mungu ni watu ambao wamekubali mioyo yao, yao ibadilike katika jina la Yesu. Nehemaya hakuangalia heshima zile ambazo zilikuwa zinamfuata. Alijua kwamba kama hivi ndivyo mambo ilivyo, basi mimi nitasimama katika huo mwanya. Have you been called as, a, as an intercessor? Je, uko na mzigo? wa uombezi kazi yako ni kusema na hii kanisa inanga waombezi kwa nini eh kazi kanisa hii haikuangi na asha kwa nini kanisa hii haikuangi praise be to god na nikwambie kitu kingine ya kwamba Mungu tu hajatuita tutumike katika nyumba yake tu ametuita mpaka tutumikie majirani it is very dangerous as a believer that your neighbor can sleep hungry na wewe unakuja kanisani hello Let me tell you serving God is not only here in this house. Serving God means even where we live and what we do. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Serving God does not only means in the house of God. We have been called to change the life of people. Lakini hatuwezi badilisha kama mioyo yetu bado haijakubali kubadilika. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. 
ni watu ambao wana mioyo tofauti ambao huleta mabadiliko katika safari ya bingu na katika ufalme huu katika jina la Yesu kama utabaki ukiwa umekausha moyo kama utabaki ukiwa na moyo mgumu ujue kwamba Mungu hata kutumia you see when the bible says that if you fail to praise him he is going to resurrect stones and the stones will praise him because even stones belong to god hallelujah even stones belong to God. Na nikwambie ukikataa kufanya kazi ya Mungu haitasimama atainua mawe. Maana hata mawe ni ya Mungu. Na mawe isiinuliwe kama wewe uko uhai. Kataa karibu Yesu. Haleluya. Usikubali mawe inuliwe mtumikie Mungu wewe ukiwa na afya, wewe ukiwa na pesa, wewe ukiwa na, na, na mawazo mazuri, kataa katika jina la Yesu. Don't allow stones to praise him while you praise him. Praise be to God. Kanisa bwana atukuzwe. Nikimalizia nikwambie kwamba kama vile nilianza na kusema kwamba kutumikia Mungu haijawa rahisi. Na usitarajie ikue rahisi. It is not becoming any more easier and especially as we approach the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Na wokovu si ati unakuwa rahisi wokovu unaendelea kuwa mgumu simuliona makanisa ilifungwa was it easy it was not praise be to god it was not and let me tell you hard days are coming ni sasa hivi tuamue kusimama katika nafasi yetu maana utakapo simama katika nafasi yako kushikilia kazi ya Mungu Mungu hawezi kukuachilia no hawezi in the book of galatians chapter 6 The Bible says that kile utakachopanda Mungu si mdhalimu ukipanda hicho in the right time you will reap utavuna tu Bwana Yesu atukuzwe Praise be to God Nami nikwambie kama kile ambacho kilifanyikia Nehemiah alipoamua kuwa na moyo wa tofauti alifuatwa na mambo ambayo haikuwa rahisi Haikuwa rahisi maana mpaka adui waliinuka na wakamwambia wewe hauwezi na hata alipomaliza kujenga walimwambia sasa hii ukuta hata boy ha kipanda hapo anaiangusha because serving god has never been easy and it is not becoming easy kuna kazi ya Mungu utaanza ukidhihakiwa na uimalize ukidhihakiwa lakini kwa sababu ni Mungu ameamuru usiachilie usiachilie hata kama utaifanya na kilio hata kama utaifanya na dhihaka hata kama utaifanya na machozi usiachilie haleluya maana wewe ndiye Mungu amechagua usimame katika nafasi hiyo ujenge huo ukuta so one thing that will happen when you decide to serve god when you decide to become a praise and worship team when you decide to be washing the church when you decide now i'll be waking up very early in the morning to pray lazima dihaka zitainuka dihaka zitainuka na maadui unajua kuna kiwango unafika maadui anakuja one on one wanaacha kukusengenya huko wanakusengenya ukisikia <laughs> praise be to god hivyo ndivyo nehemaya ali, ali, alifanyikiwa kwa sababu aliamua kwamba mimi kazi ya Mungu siifanyi kwa siri tena nitaifanya kwa wazi na no, maadui walikuja kwa wazi Let me tell you there are levels you are going to raise the service unto God and at the same level the enemies will come but I want to thank God hata kama watakuja wakiwa elfu moja wataanguka upande huu mwingine kwa jina la Yesu maana hii kazi si yako kazi iko na mwenyewe na kama alianzisha ataikamilisha usijali ataikamilisha namna gani kubali kutumika mama katika hiyo nafasi aliyeanza hiyo kazi ataikamilisha Praise be to God. Na usifikirie utadhihakiwa kule nje. Dhihaka huanza hapa. Hapa tu tuko. Kejeli huanza hapa tuko. Usifikirie ni uh, Tobias wako kule nje wako mpaka hapa. Bwana akupe neema katika jina la Yesu. Maana si kwa nguvu, si kwa hekima, ni kwa uweza wa Roho Mtakatifu wa Bwana ni kwa neema za bingu katika jina la Yesu. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. 
It is only that those people who decide to be different that are able to do things differently. Praise be to God. Kanisa bwana atukuzwe. Kwa hivyo kile ambacho kilifanyikia Nehemiah wakati alipoamua kumtumikia Mungu, dhihaka ziliinuka nyingi. Alipigwa na akapigwa. Alisengenywa. Eh ni wewe tu unaweza kuosha kanisa. Ni wewe tu unaweza kufika mapema ufugue kanisa. Hakuna mwingine. <laughs> Praise be to God. Ni wewe tu unaweza kuimbisha. Hakuna mwingine. Ni wewe tu unapeangwa service uongoze. When you decide to become different in the service unto the kingdom, the enemies will rise. Lakini swali ni je, ati kwa sababu adui atainuka, tukae na tulale nyumbani, tutamtumikia Bwana. Adui apende asipende katika jina la Yesu. Adui apende asipende tutamtumikia Bwana kwa mali zetu, kwa wakati wetu katika jina la Yesu. Maana yeye aliyekupa huo mzigo atakunemesha kwa jia kibingu katika jina la Yesu. Praise be to God. Bwana awape neema kwa jina la Yesu. Bwana akunemeshe kwa jina la Yesu. Wewe ambaye ulichoka, wewe ulisikia adui ukachoka, arise again in Jesus mighty name. Inuka sasa na usimamishe kazi ya Bwana kwa utukufu wa jina lake Bwana. Maana si yako, hii kazi iko na mwenyewe. Haleluya. Tusikubali Bwana ainue mawe nikiwa uhai. Hapana. Hata inua mawe nikiwa uhai. Hata inua mawe nikiwa uhai as long as I am healthy as long as I am sober I will serve this God in the mighty name of Jesus Bwana Yesu asifiwe Na kuna kitu moja adui alisema Alisema hivi Wacha nikusomee mstari wa wa 16 Let me repeat this verse When all our enemies heard about it and all the nations around us saw it they lost their confidence for they recognized that this work had been accomplished by the help of our God Bwana <laughs> atukuzwe Listen to this Ya kwamba kazi hii wakati ilipo kuwa katika dhihaka walikuwa nasema ya kwamba na hawa si waliachiliwa na Mungu kwa ni Mungu wao nakaje Mungu wa aibu. Lakini wakati kazi ilipoisha na wakati Nehemiah alikosa kuachilia, akahakikisha kile ambacho alibeba amekimalizia. Wakasema, "Na kweli hawa wameweza kufanya hivi kwa msaada wa bingu. Let me tell you one thing. Do you see even that enemy that is following you? Hata yeye anatabua Mungu. Ni vile hakuambiangi. They know. They know you pray. They know you are faithful. It's only that they cannot tell you. They know you work. Deposa hata hawa dui. Ya kwamba tumejua ya kwamba hawa watu wameweza kufanya hivi kwa ajili ya msaada wa Bwana. Praise be to God. Wacha nikwambie mpendo wa siku hii ya leo. Ukikubali kutumika mbele za Bwana, kuna mambo unaweza kubadilisha according to the speed of God. The Bible says, ukisoma vizuri, uh, verse 15 Inasema ya kwamba huu ukuta ulimalizika kwa siku hamsini na ngapi? Na mbili. Do you know for how long this wall was broken? For 150 years. 150 years this wall was down. But when Nehemiah rose up na akaamua kutumika, alimaliza hiyo kazi na 52 days. Is that not God? Ebu, le, wacha ni kwambie haujawahi ona na haujajua kile ambacho Mungu anaweza kufanya na mtu yule ambaye anakubali kutumika. Bwana atukuzwe. Mtu mtu mmoja akikubali kutumika. And let me tell you, God is not looking for men. God is not looking for women. He is looking for a one man. He is looking for a one woman who is ready to be used by God. He is not looking for a group. Agali vikundi anatazamia mtu mmoja amtumie abadilishe maisha ya watu amtumie abadilishe kazi ya Bwana kwa utukufu wa jina lake Bwana God is happy when he is glorified among men Mungu hupendezwa wakati anatumika kumtukuza Bwana Mungu anaheshimika ana, ana na anapenda wakati kazi yake inakuwa accomplished John 17 verse 1 Glorify thy son as thy son glorifies you glorify thy son as thy son 
glorifies you. That means whatever I have, that is Jesus saying, whatever you have given me, I will use it to bring it unto you. If you, you, if you bring glory unto me, I'll bring it back unto you. That is Jesus saying, glorify thy son as thy son glorifies you. That whatever God you have released in my life, I will use it to bring glory unto you. What has God given you today? Do you have sober mind? Use it to glorify God. Do you have good health? Use it to honor God. Do you have time? Use it to glorify God. Glorify thy son as thy son glorifies you back. Hallelujah. Kanisa bwana Yesu atukuzwe. Ni nini Mungu amekupatia siku hii ya leo? Ni nini hicho Mungu hii ya leo? Use it to glorify thy son. Mungu amekupa pesa, toa fungu la kumi. When you are doing that, you are glorifying, you are giving it back unto him who gave you. Wewe ambaye uliacha kutoa fungu la kumi na ukakosa kuwa mwaminifu, what happened? You have been called to serve God in that. Hallelujah. Unajua kama kuna mahubiri ambayo imeharibiwa ni mahubiri ya kutoa. Lakini lazima tuihubiri kwa ukweli. Haijalishi ni wangapi wameharibu. It is a biblical principle that we must follow as believers for our lives to be changed. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu atukuzwe. Unajua siku hizi ukiguza mambo ya matendo kuna mtu anasikia anaanza kuwakawaka huko ndani. Kwa sababu alikutana na watu wakamharibu. Sasa akisikia mhubiri akiongea mambo ya matoleo, moto inaanza kuwaka huko ndani. Tulia na uti Mungu. Toa fungu la kumi. Bwana atukuzwe. <laughs> Praise be to God. Kwa hivyo wapenda nataka ni wanene katika hii baada ya kwanza tumeitwa tumtumikie Bwana katika jina la Yesu. You have been called to serve God. You have no reason why you should not serve God. You have everything that you need to serve God in Jesus mighty name. I came to tell you everyone here is qualified to serve God. Everyone here is qualified to serve God. Serving God is not preaching here. Serving God is not Serving God is not is not singing. There are so many diverse ways of serving God. Na kama wewe haujawahi kile ambacho umeitiwa kutumikia Mungu, kuna roho ambaye huwa anatukumbusha. Hallelujah. Kuna roho mtakatifu huwa anatukumbusha. Mwambie siku hii leo, nikumbushe kile ambacho kilifanya uniokoe. Nikumbushe eh roho mtakatifu. Unajua labda ulikutana na vita ukasema ni nitawacha hii huduma. Usijali mambo kama hayo hufanyika. Lakini swali ni je kama ulifika mahali ukawachana there is a holy spirit who reminds us of our spiritual responsibility may you call him to, uh, today in the mighty name of the lord and tell him god holy spirit i desire to go back to my service in the mighty name of the lord natamani nirudi katika huduma yangu katika jina la yesu mahali ambapo shetani ameinua vita katika dunia tulioko lazima tuinue jinsi ya kufanya kazi katika nyumba ya bwana If only we want to overcome Satan in, in today's generation, we must raise our standard and our way of serving God in the mighty name of the Lord. Tusimame mbele zake Bwana katika jina la Yesu. Nataka uanze kufungua moyo wako. Kama kuna mahali ulikwama, kama kuna mahali ulishindwa kumtumikia Bwana, there is a God who came to remind you that he desire that you serve him better in the mighty name of the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We love you Lord Jesus, we love you Lord Jesus. Kama uko katikati yetu, ulifika mahali ukachoshwa na kazi ya Bwana. Haujui kile ambacho kiliingilia maisha yako. Wewe ikawa hata ni mtu alikukwaza. Kuna roho wa Bwana ambaye yako tayari kukuponya. There is a Holy Spirit of God who is ready to restore you back into this kingdom with his power, with his grace in the mighty name of Lord. It is not time to run away from serving God. It is not time to give up in serving God. No. It is time to run unto him in the mighty name of the Lord. Inua mkono wako kama unahitaji kusaidiwa na Mungu. Unafika mahali unasikia kwamba I need to do things differently. I need to serve God differently. Don't be shy. Ni wale ambao hawataibika, Mungu atakaye watumia. Ni wale ambao wako tofauti, Mungu atakaye watumia. Asante kwa mikono hiyo. Roho mtakatifu wa Bwana, ni asante kwa sababu wewe ni mwema. Thank you King of Glory because you have your mercy. Kama umeinua mikono, tafadhali karibia hapa mbele kwa jina la Yesu. Kwa jina la Yesu. Kwa jina when everybody else wakati kila mtu amefunga macho, wakati kila mwingine amefunga macho, 
Everybody, we're in the presence of God. Let everybody close their eyes. Surrender unto God. We're in the prayer. Surrender unto God. Hata ukiwa huko na itaji mwana kusaidi. Kwa jina la Yesu. Kwa jina la Yesu. Come forward. Usiogope. 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 Ulikuwa mwaminifu kanika kasi ya mwana. Lakini sahi hawezi. Ta. Ta. There is a God. There is a God. There is a God. Who is able to help. Who is able to raise his people. Who is able to call back his people. In the might and the Lord. In the might. Lord, in the mighty name of the Lord, katika jina la Yesu. Tukiwa kule nyuma nataka tuinue mikono yetu, tuelekeze huku mbele. Inua mikono yetu yako kidogo, inua mikono yako. Elekeza kwa wapendo wa hawa tunapoombea na reverend katika jina la Yesu. Tuelekee mikono kwa jina la Yesu. Nawe ukiwa hapa, inua mikono yako kwake Bwana. Sarada unto God. Sarada unto God. Kwa katika jina la Yesu, let everybody pray. Let everybody pray in the name of Jesus. Sio sipiga na ni mwenyewe na mpiga ni wa baba Mwenzio sipiga na ni mwenyewe na mpiga ni wa baba Oh mwenzio sipiga na ni mwenyewe Go back with the new anointing to the glory and honor of God. Yapa. Kupugua moyo wako. Yampedesa yeye alie kuuba. Yeye abawa alie kuokoa. Yeye abawa ame kueka hulu. Yeye abawa ame kueka uhai. Nifie maya pedesa yeye wakati wewe unakubaliana naye akutumie ukiwa chobo cha kazi yake tunapoendelea katika hali ya kuwaza na kutafakari mambo ya huyu Mungu ambao akana uwezo wa kunena na inatedeka if you allow him he is also ready to come to your rescue because he is your God. When we speak to him, when we humble before him, na yana kuwa katiyari kushuka, ijapo kuwa ni mukubwa, ijapo kuwa kubikuni na sisi tuko duniani, ijapo kuwa ye ni loho, ijapo kuwa ye ni mugu muku, anachuka kuwa kwa manadamu anaza kumuhudumia. It is until we realize that the God that we are serving, He is a spirit and He is the Almighty. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. It is until we realize that the work of God belongs to God Himself. It is until we realize that we are called for God's purposes. Praise the name of the Lord. Father, we pray. I totally agree with your word, O oh Lord, today. As your servant has delivered to us to hear and to take it, O oh Lord. I have a request and prayer, Lord God Almighty, that you come to the rescue of thy own, O oh Lord. Yes, Jesus. Because
Lord Jehovah, Lord God, King of all glory. Yes, Lord. Before we were born, you knew us, O oh Lord. Yes, Lord. Today I pray for your people, O oh God. Yes. Your Lord Jehovah, Uta Edria Kuatria, the Hakaza Aina Sote. Yes. And the joy of the Lord shall continue to be their strength. Yes, Jesus. Lord God Almighty. Yes, Lord. What to let the Haka? Mara kwa mara hushukua Heki mamalifa Na pia Fulaha ya kiuku Apo jehova watamania Kwa unayona Dania meozetu We are ready to hapo Use us We are ready to be used as your tools Oh God I'm blessing your people In Jesus name I pray Amen Good pastor. Let's appreciate our pastor for Sababia Madras. May God bless you as you come back to the afternoon. Don't go at home. Hapa Chakuri Meda, you are Kosababietu. Namugo Baraka to Bariki.